రెస్పెక్టెడ్ తెలంగాణ ముఖ్యమంత్రి కేసీఆర్ గారు కేరళ ముఖ్యమంత్రి పినరాయి విజయన్ గారు ఢిల్లీ ముఖ్యమంత్రి అరవింద్ గారు పంజాబ్ ముఖ్యమంత్రి మోహన్ గారు యూపీక మాజీ ముఖ్యమంత్రి అఖిలేష్ గారు మంచ్ పర్ బైట వి నేత గారు సోదర సోదరులరా ఫ్రెండ్స్ కామ్రేడ్స్ మీరు అందరికీ చాలా నమస్కారం తెలుగు సులభమే వచ్చి అందుకోసరం ఇంగ్లీష్లో మీ నేను మాట్లాడు ఓకే సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ కామ్రేడ్స్ ఐ టేక్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు పే మై ట్రిబ్యూట్స్ to the great martyrs the heroes of this revolutionary soil of telangana comrade ravinarayan reddy great poet magdum maiden comrade giri prasad and many other great martyrs i salute them i pay my tributes to them all at the outset i congratulate telangana chief minister my very dear beloved kcr garu not only for organizing such a wonderful meeting but for the innovative measures he has been taking for providing good governance to the people of telangana and i understand telangana is one state where you do not confront power cuts telangana is one state where the people common people get good drinking water telangana is one state where we come to know about rayatu bandhu dalit bandhu and several other schemes now he has invited us to participate in the kanti bengalu program i congratulate mr kcr and i wish him all the best in the coming days friends comrades after a few days we will be celebrating the republic day of our country but we all should understand the republic of india is in danger is in crisis why there is a disastrous move attack by bjp rss combined they are posing grave threat to the very constitution of our country democracy of our country and trying to change the constitution and the democratic rule in our country our constitution defines india should be a secular nation our constitution defines indian state should be a welfare state our constitution defines indian state should be a federal state but what is happening today rss bjp combined wants to change the fundamental tenets of our constitution and impose a medieval monolithic socio political order on our people and they want to replace the secular state by a theocratic state youth people of telangana should know it was dr ambedkar 
it was dr ambedkar who warned the nation if at all india becomes a hindu rashtra that will be the biggest calamity this is what dr ambedkar said now we are facing such a calamity we are facing such a threat from bjp rss combined how to stop this how to stop this how to stop this indian said should be a welfare state now telangana mukhyamantri kcr has initiated several innovative measures to them these are the basic issues of our people how to provide education how to provide health care how to provide employment how to provide housing how to provide food let us come together let us fight on this agenda and we can defeat bjp rss but because the bjp rss modi spoke bola modi kya bola sabka saath sabka vikas abhi kya ho raha modi aapka saath nahi hai किसान का साथ नहीं है मजदूर का साथ नहीं है गरीब लोग का साथ नहीं है मोदी सिर्फ अडानी का साथ है अंबानी का साथ है टाटा बिरला का साथ है क्या वेलफेयर स्टेट है इसलिए हम लोग अभी एक साथ आना चाहिए एंड इंडिया बींग ए रिपब्लिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड फेडरल country what is happening tinarai vijayan garu bola how governors are used in telangana we have been watching the telangana governor is confronting the elected chief minister of telangana kcr garu in delhi my good friend arvind kejriwal is sitting the lieutenant governor of delhi is confronting the elected chief minister of delhi in tamil nadu the governor is confronting the elected chief minister of tamil nadu in kerala the governor is confronting the elected chief minister of kerala why it is happening bjp rss they do not believe in the federal system of our governments and they want to impose a unitary system they want to build india as a single dimensional country after all we are a country with tremendous diversities and we must be happy india is a diverse country we must celebrate the diversity of our country but bjp rss they do not believe in diversity that is why they talk about unitary system unitary governance one nation one culture one nation one religion one nation one election one nation one tax one nation where it will end one nation one party one nation one leader this is not danger i am asking you is it not danger to our republic how to stop this how to stop this we will have to fight against bjp rss combined and we will have to defeat them in the forthcoming 2024 elections india if at all has to be saved republic has to be reclaimed republic has to be saved bjp rss combined should not be in power they must be thrown out of power this is what the message should go from this kammam a revolutionary center of telangana this message should go i appeal to all secular democratic parties who are present here who are not present here i appeal to all of them understand the emerging threat understand the disaster we are facing how to save india how to save our constitution how to save our democracy unless 
we come together. We fight together. We try to defeat the BJP RSS combined. It is possible, my friends and comrades, when country was a colony, when country was a colony, we all fought together. We liberated our motherland, our country, from British rule. Today, when our country is at a critical moment in history, we can fight, we can defeat BJP RSS, we can liberate India from BJP rule. We fought, we made supreme sacrifices, we liberated country from British rule. Now, we can fight BJP, we can defeat BJP, we can liberate India from BJP rule. Do you agree with me? This is what we are asking. This is not just a formal meeting. This meeting should convey a message, convey a message. After Republic Day, we will celebrate, observe Mahatma Gandhi's martyrdom day. What is the meaning of martyrdom of Mahatma Gandhi? Is it just a ritual to go and pay homage to Mahatma Gandhi? No. It was Mahatma Gandhi who said, Ishwar Allah Tere Naam Sabko Sanmadi De Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you are Ishwar. Bhagavan, you are Allah. Give good sense to all our people. Sabko Sanmadi De Bhagavan. If Gandhi comes before you, Gandhi will not ask for Sanmadi Sabko. Gandhi will ask, Bhagavan, Sirf Modi, Mogan Bhagavad, Amishako, Sanmadi De Bhagavan. This is what Gandhi will pray. So, friends, comrades, when our country is at a critical point in its history, when the constitution is under threat, when the democratic polity is under threat, it is the task before all secular democratic parties who are represented here, who are not represented here, but outside. We all will have to come together and work together to fight BJP and defeat BJP. That is the task before everyone. And let us take a pledge from this Rostrum and let us move forward with united spirit and success is ours. And let us tell BJP RSS, they cannot deceive the people. They cannot dismantle the, our republic. And the defeat of BJP is sure, but it is in our hands. So secular democratic parties, forces must come together, fight BJP, and save the country, save the constitution. With these words, once again I congratulate our beloved KCR Garu and express my sincere gratitude to KCR Garu. I thank all of you. Thanks.